They got, uh, maybe you're a distance runner instead of a speed runner. So I'd run a three-hour marathon. I couldn't run no two-hour and some marathon. I couldn't do it. I'd just die. But I'd run a good three-hour marathon all the time, standard. Short distance under four or five rounds. I, I mentioned that, that. That's what boss man is used to, short distances. He used to in a fight. He's so big and so well organized that he just knocks niggas out because nobody, you know what I mean, nobody would have any training in nothing. In, uh, in revolution, he just, or he'd send in girls and girls would put it would knock them out, just knock them out, get them fighting, uh, laughing and talking. And he did all that stuff with me, too. He did all that stuff. Uh, but uh, alhamdulillah, I just became Muslim. When I became Muslim, the, all that stuff that they used on it, they couldn't use it on me. I don't know no Negro with no 15 years of celibacy under his belt. Because uh, uh, to do this work, this is important. They don't do it. They don't do that type of thing. And they thought it was hard. I said, it ain't hard. I, didn't, I already know what I can do. I ain't no big deal. So, boss man is short-winded. And now he's getting the butt kicking. And he didn't pick up weight too. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. He picked up all that weight. He ain't lean. They ain't, they ain't walking across covered wagons, walking across the, uh, you know, the, the country no more. No, the white folks, they, they get on them wagons and walk across. They was, you know, they can't walk down the street. They can't do it. Somebody told me, I, I know, but I read it and heard it too. The military can't recruit people, right? Can you imagine? The people is too fat and too doped up. Too, yeah, yeah to, to, uh, no, it's all the American things. And then when they do go over there, they, they come back and they realize this is not a video game. And I've been killing real people. And then when I get back, they say, you can't do this and you can't do that. And they kill themselves. This is so every sign of a civilization in decline is here. You see what I mean? Every one of them. They, don't, they have missed nothing. And they did it themselves. Okay, uh, let me... Uh, dear believers, uh, I'm gonna. I got too much. I'm just still at the top of it. I can't. And I, it's prayer time. So uh, I'm gonna wrap up. Uh, what I'll do is just do a condensed form and re religiousize this for tomorrow's Juma. That's what I'll do. And finish it up uh, Sunday. By the way, before I forget, Sunday, they're going to have a, uh, the Nigerians are going to have a program. Right. And uh, we could drop by the, well, we could make sure Saturday that everything is cleaned up and uh, we'll get some uh, incense sort of and stuff like that. Uh, 
And they talking about uh, the ma'am is in the military, which is wonderful. Uh, and there's nothing new. It's just like California. There's nothing new. So look. Whatever anybody think, our community is blessed. It's really blessed. When we go back to California, don't worry about what they have done or are doing. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. No matter what it is, that's a one done deal. Whether it's one way or another, whether we uh, win zillions of dollars in court, whether we tell the story, and make our own series out of it, whether we write books or articles. Like we remember, we'll have, we already have a three volume book that's already written from our cyber coons. It's actually in book form. We've been at it for 10 years in book form. All we've got to just take it to the printer. It's on one of them jump drive things and it's already, and I got them, you know, the things that you stick in the side of the computer. Yeah, all that we could just stick it in a thing and it'll print out, uh, or you know, or we could take it to the printer and let them do it. That stuff is done, but we didn't want to put it out. But we're also doing a second stage of cyber coons, really modern and up to date. Okay. We call this period deep roots, deep soul is what we call it. Staying power. 95% of ability is stickability. Stickability, the ability to stick, the ability to hold on. We do all type, we coon the white man. We talked about it last week about moseying alone. Just moseying alone. <laughs> and evidently everything we do is working well not everything the things that should work is working that we do and it's working very well the things that they do are not working at all they, they are the laughing stock of the world and remember we're claiming a big share of that because we said it a long time ago boss man gonna go and we're going to stick ourselves right out there. Yeah, boss, man. This is gonna, it makes it worse for them. We told you you ought to do right. And I told you you ought to do da 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 And now look at you. That's high side and uh, selling wolf tickets. And that's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we've been doing. And we're going to improve on that. But remember... The Chinese had uh, socialism with Chinese characteristics, right? We have Islam with coon characteristics, Negro characteristics. That's what we're doing. We sound like it. And we, I hope we look like it. And that's what we're doing. It is the la- Look, make fun of the white man, and not only the white man, but the Zionist. Everybody fears the Zionists. But we don't fear them. The Zionists, you talk about people that don't mess with us, it's the Zionists. And they say it, you could see it. If you, if you can remember it, the Zionists used to come out and they used to hit at us and we'd hit back at them and just make fun of them. That's why you don't see nothing anymore. If it is, it's playing. They used to come to our demonstrations and hide their camera. Then you see me stand up there talking. Da, 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 da. Then I tell them this and I tell them that. They say, uh, you have to leave that nigga alone. Why? Because he ain't scared of us. We don't have nothing to scare him with. We don't have nothing to offer him because he don't want nothing. He sleeps down there on the floor. 
and the water comes in when it's raining. So what? I mean, the floor. Um, so what? Keeps you close to reality. See what I mean? So when you don't want nothing that they got, it ain't no problem because you don't even want it. You see what I mean? Or oh, a lot and gave you so much of it, you know what it is and what it's not. And you know how you are now and how it was then. So you already know in your own mind and heart what these things are. You're not, so if you get a bucket full of money, it's just a bucket full of money. It's to use for other people. If it's a million dollars, I don't need but uh, 40 or 50 dollars of it. Or a hundred or two or something like that. But I don't need all that because I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy those things if we could. You see what I mean? That means, number one, and I'll close with this, the one of the dangerous things I left behind for men is women, right? That's how deep. Clear. Okay. The other thing is that as man get older, he gets he wants more and more wealth. That's a hadith too. And the guy in Oakland asked me, do you, when you get older, do you want more material? I said, no, I want less. He said, I didn't study it, my father, and he wants more, a Palestinian. And I could have told him, yeah, I know your daddy. Hell, I, I'm, excuse me. I know your daddy. Sure, of course he's going to want more. If he's got a liquor store here in Oakland, And uh, and if you he used to take Jamaat and Tablik out, and he had a brand new Lincoln at that time, and they might scratch something, boy, he'd be burning up mad. You know. Shh. Yeah, I mean, you know, because no, it's no the for them the more those hadith are true. The older you get, the more you want some of that, uh, like when. One guy was dying, and and Umar was coming to see him, and then the, and every time he was laying there, he was looking at the pillow. When he finally died, Umar went and looked behind the pillow, and it was a sack of gold, wasn't it? He said, "Oh man," he felt sorry for the guy. Yeah. Cause that's all he was. He's laying there, about ready to die, or it maybe take you two weeks to die, or whatever it did in those days. You didn't just up and die, you know, dying sometime. Now they got a place in the house called the living room. They used to call it the dying room, but it didn't sound right. No, when you died, you didn't just drop dead. All your stuff catch up with you and you just lay there and you just lay in in the dining room. And so now they, maybe it was a hundred years ago or more, they changed it to living rooms to the dining room. But that's where they would put you in the room and you just lay there. All the stuff catching up with you and it catch up with you, your heart get be salty, all that stuff. You know, dying wasn't no joke like it is now. They keep you alive up till you got to go. And then, you know, they either pull the plug or, you know, or if you hurting, they give you something. Stop the hurt, you know. But dying used to be miserable. We died just like horses. I don't know if y'all ever seen a horse when it die. It has a big a semicircle where it's always just doing like this. Yeah, if you ever seen, yeah, horses and mules. Well, I'm from the country, so they, uh, we always had them dying. And that's the, the, the kicking, the last kick. That's where it come from. You know, so they don't just die the horse riding, going on and just drop dead. No, all this stuff catch up. And they, they used to call it low sick. So-and-so is low sick. Anyway, uh, I like to just comment on uh we're happy with 
All our allies, all our allies, they, they, they're doing an admirable job. And we with them. And we're not doing too bad here. You know, most people would rather have their job than ours. Like one of the commenters said in Iran that used to be here. He's head of one of the big news, something like that. He said, you know, Imam Musa is in the United States and we're over here. He used to be over here, so he knew what it meant. You know what I mean? That we're saying what we're saying inside the United States. So, uh, I didn't mean to take us uh, all this time. Are there any questions or comments about anything that we have said? <clears throat>